Mutagrass Central with BYD. Guys, today is today, guys. I'm having my yard aerated, and I may have it aerated just a little bit ahead of time because of scheduling issues right here. But guys, this is gonna go great when you, put, you aerate your yard and you put down your fertilizer. Check it out. Hey, Yard Fanax, I'm here with Herman, and Herman is about to aerate my yard. Guys, I told you BYD can't do it anymore because I ain't got too old for it. The gray hair speaks for itself. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let you talk to Herman. Herman is gonna explain what this do dilly right here is all about. All right, now what's the purpose of me aerating my lawn? So just in case the audience forgot. Um, so basically the core aeration is gonna allow for air and water and all the nutrients mm -hmm. um, from, from your, your fertilization treatments to get down to the root level. Okay. And it's gonna allow for that, you know, more healthier growth and, uh, you know, just to make the lawn thick to keep the weeds out. All right, so guys, we're gonna go ahead and get right to it. With no delay, Stinger 3000 on BYD's lawn. hear me but like he like he said normally when I rent something like this from Home Depot it's gonna take about oh man uh, two or three hours all right this guy can knock out 17,000 square feet with this machine in a matter of minutes so we're stopping and pausing and recording stuff but my front yard is taking him less than about five minutes to do so my whole yard you probably can get it done in roughly around 20 minutes guys 20 minutes okay you are for next look we got it aerated all right we got the plugs out the ground plenty of holes in it and here's a pro tip guys take your lawnmower Put it on mulch don't bag it up cut your lawn and it's going to break those plugs down now there will be some plugs left it's not going to do it all in one most lawnmowers won't be able to pick this stuff up but if you've been spending money on all this fertilizer with all that organic matter and all that good stuff in it no need to remove the plugs guys because you're taking away from the soil that stuff will break back down into the soil i will tell you this if you have a lawn that's full of weeds guys you need to bag it up it's just that simple now if you're concerned about poor seeds bag it up guys but i don't really have any poor in the front i don't have any poor in the front so we're just going to mulch over this and now time okay you're up next hopefully you can see that by cutting it with the, the mulching on you're going to break up some of them now guys i'm just going to say it's optional if you want to bag them up that's fine but personally to me it's a waste of time and you want to make lawn care easier. And you see this yard starting to level out from me uh, cutting it because this is the section that I had actually burned. Okay, yard for next. What, what's next is to go ahead and put the fertilizer down. But before I do that, guys, look, I want to give a big shout out to Richard Parker, guys. This guy right here is a freaking super fan. And I actually mailed him out a little super pack madness he got today. So congratulations, Richard. For being a super fan if you want to know how you could be a super fan hit like comment that's all you have to do hit the like button comment make sure you are subscribed because you're not a super fan if you're not subscribed guys so i'll be doing shout outs throughout the season everybody who leaves a comment has a chance of being shouted out on bermuda grass central okay okay guys now that we got the, we, we got it aerated we got the lawn mowed broke up some of those plugs we're gonna go ahead and put down our Fertilizer. Guys, if you're not, not following me and you want to know what fertilization program I, I'm on, click on that link up in the right corner. That'll take you to that video. Just wait till the end of this video to click on it. But I'm going to put down today, April 1st. I know it's April Fool's Day, but this is no joke. <laughs> 7020, that goes down today. All you got to do is put this down and then water it in. So I got a couple of spreaders online here 
that's the new big boys back right there guys that's actually made by the earthway company we got the earthway bucket spreader right here i'm just and i'm not detailing these out i'm just going to use them today so you can kind of see how they work and we got the earthway shoulder bag spreader also okay you are for next real easy to use it kind of just slips over your shoulder you got a handle here you can adjust how it comes out right here the volume and you'll have to look all that stuff up. right now i'm just using it to kind of show you what it looks like and this is a bag spreader that's real tough nylon it feels all the way up i think i can get like 20 or 30 pounds of fur in here so real good for little small jobs or like if you're on a slope or something like that but i'm gonna use it today just so you can see how it works check it out Okay, guys, this is the bucket earthway, so check this out. We're just going to set it on our spread and spray it. Okay, guys, last but not least, big boy. Check them out. Okay, guys, look, after we got that fertilizer down there, I want you to pay close attention real quick. Now, you see these aeration holes right here. Those are the plugs. You see that fertilizer and stuff laying around? When you water this, that stuff ends up in these holes. The roots are down here, not up here. It gets to the roots a whole lot faster. So once you start feeding all this area, it just starts to spread. It reacts a whole lot faster. You green up a whole lot faster and you get all the nutrients, air and water in the ground faster than ever before. Okay, you're for next book. It, it doesn't end there. It does not end there. This is what people make their mistake, all right? Your fertilizer is not going to work unless you water it in. I'm always saying that. If you've been following me, I always say, make sure you click that subscription button, ring that notification bell. Every time BYD uploads a video, you'll be notified by YouTube. And I'm also saying, read the directions on the bag. And I'm also saying, guys, you have to water it in hit like if you agree i see all those things you have to water it in that's the only way you're going to activate the fertilizer the best time to do it is soon right after you put it down start watering in don't wait two three days for the rainstorm water it in right then and there so for you guys who don't have a uh, sprinkler system guys drag the water hose around do what you got to do but get that h2o on that lawn as soon as possible so guys for those of you who want to know what kind of fertilization program i'm on guys i got links in the description you can order yard master all day long click on this video right here and i'm gonna show you exactly what i'm doing to my own personal lawn